Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to log in or sign in with your Google account or Gmail account without entering password with the help of the Google Pass Key feature. So Google recently announced the Google Pass Key feature. It's an upgrade feature because already Google has the option like a use your phone to sign in option so that option is actually upgraded to the google pass key feature with the help of google pass key feature you can sign in google account in any other computer or in other android smartphone or in a public computer without entering password with the help of your android authentication itself you can use your phone fingerprint or face and lock or your phone password or pin number itself to log in your google account in any other devices easily and securely so now to enable this you have to to create the google pass key so for that in your android smartphone so you have to log in with the google account so that is the must so if you are already using an android phone means you are already logged in with your google account only so first of all you have to go to the settings option in your android phone or in your desktop also you can go to the google account settings and click on the manage google account for android phone just to go to the settings and under the account section you can see the google option or in the redmi phones you can directly see the option google just just to click on that now you will see the option manage your google account just to click on this option now here under this section you have to click on the security tab so the same process is for the desktop users as well as so now once you go down here you can able to see the option pass keys actually this google pass key will be automatically generated in the all the android smartphone if you are already as uh, logged in with your google account means so if in your android smartphone you are already logged in with the google account means then the pass key will be automatically get created in case if it is not created means you have to just to click on the pass keys if it is created means you can see you can see that one pass key is available like that so now this is the google pass key method so i already have the pass key then it's actually asking for that this is actually a pass key feature so now once go to the pass key section so to go to this section you have to verify with your password and two-step verification and once go to this section now you can able to see the pass keys so for this redmi 9 power smartphone the pass key has been created you can also click on the manage devices in case if your uh, google account is logged in with the multiple devices means you can able to see all the devices in case if you want to log out also you can just click on that and click on the sign out option so now in case if you are not created the pass key means so you have to just click on the use pass key section and the pass key is already created for the android smartphone so now you can see the message you can now use the pass keys to sign so just click on the done option now the pass key has been created for the android smartphone you are using so now once you created the pass key now that's it just to go back now if you are actually trying to log in your google account in any other devices means you can easily able to log in with the help of the phone password or phone fingerprint or face unlock itself now i'll show you how it actually works now once you created the google pass key so if you are trying to log in your google account or signing into gmail in the other devices or in other another smartphone means once you enter the google account id and click on the next option now you can able to see the page like this use your pass key to confirm it so you can already create it means you can just continue if you don't want also you can just click on the try another way and here you can enter your password and if you have a two-step verification means you can use that and apart from that in case if you are trying to use the pass key means click on the use pass key now you will see a barcode here you have to scan this barcode right from the smartphone you are already having the google pass key now in my case i have a google pass key in my in this smartphone so i am going to scan this barcode in this smartphone so you can use your phone camera itself to scan this barcode because nowadays all the smartphone camera is supported with the barcode scanning once open the phone camera just to move close to the barcode now you will see the option here barcode uh, symbol like that you have to just click on this so now in your smartphone you see the option connect with the qr code you have to just click on the allow option so in case if it is your primary smartphone means just click this remember this computer or else you can just untick that and click on the allow option now the device is actually now the google account is actually connecting to that device so now i as i already said you have to just 
use your phone authentication only whether you are a fingerprint or face unlock so once you've done that as you've seen here now your google account or a gmail account will be signed in in that particular device so now using this google pass key method you can easily able to sign in your google account or sign in gmail account without entering the password with the help of the google pass key feature so now i'm actually signed in with this computer for example if i'm actually sign out on this computer means if i click on the sign out option now this time if you try to sign in with the google account on the same computer means and the same google account means once you click on that so again it actually asks for the google pass key but this time once you click on the continue option this time it actually not show you the barcode because you are already scanned the barcode and if you are using the same device means you can just click on the continue option because the particular device has been saved in the google chrome browser but sometimes this option is actually not working in my case i have actually checked most of the time this option is actually not working so in that case you can just click on the use a different device and after that click on a use a different phone or tablet once you click on that now you will see the same barcode details and one more thing is that actually if you are using this feature but you are actually connecting in the any other public computer like that means in that case you have to remove the device from the google chrome browser for this in the google chrome browser just to go to the menu option and click on the settings and here click on the privacy and security and just to go down and here you can see the option security and here go down and here you can see the option manage phones just click on that so here is the linked devices now here you can able to see all the linked devices so now using this device only you are actually scanned the qr code to log in the google account so that all devices will be shown here so for additional security you can just remove this in case if you are actually trying to connect in the any public computer means just click on this menu option and click on this delete option so that next time if you are uh, click on the try again means this will actually ask to scan the barcode so this is the one more security measure you need to follow in case if you are uh, trying to use this feature in the public computer well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys